Well, I'm Kenny Lowry. Today we're going to take a look at our medium basalt bowl fountain. Now, this is a, uh, a mid-sized basalt bowl. We basically have three sizes on this basalt bowl. We have the Kentucky basalt, which is really large. Uh, then we have the smaller bowls that we don't have individually. You see them in use with the basalt columns, one of the small bowls uh, at the bottom of those basalt columns. So this is the middle size. This is big enough to do in your yard. And you can set it up the way we've got it right here. We've got it on a four by four with a whole lot of water volume coming out of there. So you can, have, you can have it that way or you can have it on a three by three with about half that much water coming out of it. So let us know which one you choose when you're ordering. But if you want this much sound and this much water volume, it would have to go on a four by four basin. Now, water falling on water is where you get a lot of sound, and this is certainly is doing that. So the water shoots up here, falls back into the bowl. The bowl's a couple inches deep. Now this would also be used for, I'm sure dogs would drink out of it, birds are gonna use it. Uh, it's a little too deep in here for birds, but over in these shallow areas on the sides, birds will certainly use it. If you want birds to be able to use the whole bowl, you might just kind of fill it up with stones, get different heights for the, or different depths of the water. If you're filling up with stone, you can do that if you're trying to make it for birds. Now we have it elevated here a little bit, and I'll show you on the camera. We've got it, actually got it set in on a couple of bricks around here. So it gives it a couple of inches more elevation. And then when you do that, you just take your rocks at the base and slide those up to cover those bricks so that you don't see that. So disguise that all the way around. You can do that with your uh, with your pebbles that, on, that you're going to have on your grate. Right now, I'll grab a camera and show you up close. I want you to be able to hear this, since it does have that nice sound with water falling on water. You can kind of see the water is flowing off most of the way around, but primarily in three spots. You see that spot there, it's kind of coming over a little bit there too, it's coming over here. So it's probably coming off, coming over about 70% of it. It's barely coming over some areas. So you can see that brick right down there. I think you can see it where we elevated a little bit and then we raked the stones up on there so that you don't see it. 